Hey guys, so do you ever have to take a month off over whatever you're doing because of sickness? Well, that's been me for the past month. So I'm sorry about not uploading. I'm not sick no more. We good. I may still sound a little bit sick, but just try your best to ignore it. But anyways, Minecraft, the most bought and arguably the most famous game of all time. This game has several communities branching off into different languages and countries alike. This game is massive and everyone has their own opinion on it. So with that being said, how does the community take the updates that influence the current state of the game? These updates are adding more and more content to the game, and that makes me think of a question. Is Minecraft getting worse or getting better? Let's jump into this. Several years ago, there was a thing known as Minecon. Minecon is basically a Minecraft convention for people to go to in person and have fun. Not to mention, looking at the next few updates for the game, and discussing them. But in 2017, Minecon would be different. This would be the Minecon to introduce the mob vote. The people would get to choose what mob they wanted to see in the game. During this mob vote, the Phantom won. After this was added in the Aquatic update, most people did not really like this addition. It was a flying creature that would show up after three days of not sleeping. Along with it attacking you every few seconds, it just made it annoying. In September 2019, in the broadcast known as Minecraft Earth, players would vote for a biome. The Taiga biome won with introducing new features such as berries and campfires. This vote wasn't really so hostile. This is because Mojang said that instead of getting rid of plants for the other biomes, they would rather just come in a future update. This was so good that they did it again in the next Minecon. The mountain biome won, adding powdered snow and goats. The swamp also got second place and that is where the mangrove swamp was added. But soon after, in October 2020, Minecon Live was introduced, with several new biomes already being told to come in the future. They just decided to do another mob boat instead, to save time. This time, the glow squid would be added, but this was primarily due to the content creator known as Dream would motivate people to vote for the glow squid. Cause let's all be honest, the Isolager should have won that. The next mob boat in 2021, the LA won, and most people were happy with this pick. Until 2022, which as of the making of this video, is the most recent mob boat. The sniffer would go home winning this, and it caused a lot of controversy within the community. Many people saying that the mob boat was a waste of time, and the game would be better without it. This was also a big time in which Mojang was trying to add lore to the game, but many people thought if they're gonna try so hard, just to make another mob for lore perspective, then don't have a vote on it. Just make the mob. And personally, I think that's why a lot of people say that Minecraft is getting worse. Mojang just seems way too focused on topics such as lore. So yeah, personally, I think the updates are fine, but to each their own. But Minecraft isn't the only game or thing Mojang has been developing. There are four big other games, Minecraft Story Mode, Minecraft Earth, Minecraft Dungeons, and Minecraft Legends. And I would be lying to you if I said all these games are still mainly played today. At least not to the extent that Minecraft is being played at. Minecraft Story Mode and Minecraft Earth was completely dead from the beginning really. But Dungeons and Legends are still being played today and have a lot of connection into the community. They aren't here just for money either. It adds a variety and diversity into the original game itself. Like a lot of the builds I have in my own world are actually based on Minecraft Dungeons. But you see, Minecraft games themselves are not just the only thing about the community. Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. Hey, what's going on, dudes? It's Pat, and welcome back to the Challenge Games. Hey, guys. So it's... I used to rule the world. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a Minecraft Xbox 360 Hunger Games video. Whee! Yeah. Early Minecraft was full of creators, especially on YouTube. That accounted for millions of people's childhood. These times were full of mod pack show-offs, Let's Plays, Hunger Games, and little games and challenges. But then we come into the dip in Minecraft popularity. As people grew up and got older, 
They lost interest in the game and videos like it. And it was like that for a while actually, until the combination of COVID, a surge in gaming, and the power of a certain YouTuber by the name of Dream. Dream, who had been on a break from making Minecraft content, would start producing again and he would put a twist on it, like trying to beat the game with a mod pack he coded in, or arguably his most famous series, Minecraft Manhunt, where he would try to beat the game with a couple of his friends trying to kill him. These videos would be intense and heart racing. At the time, Minecraft started to come back a little bit, with servers like SMP Earth and Dream SMP. These two SMPs would gain a lot of people starting to watch Minecraft content again, especially on Twitch and YouTube. But after the pandemic ended, the SMPs would die out and the creators would make other content. In today's Minecraft content, you will usually find videos like 100 day challenges, lore based videos, and civilization videos. The 100 day videos being introduced to survive 100 days on a Minecraft challenge or twist to the game, or no twist at all. Lore based videos being what a lot of YouTubers make in order to explain the backstory and convoluted ideas that Mojang has implemented into the base game. And the civilization videos being made with hundreds or thousands of players to see them use teamwork in a twist or spin-off to the base Minecraft game like a huge map. The amount of Minecraft content is immense to say the least, with including roleplay, PvP, challenges, commentary, and so, so much more. And if that commentary part sounds cool, then you really should subscribe to me, because that's like 90% of my channel. But to go back to the original question, is Minecraft getting worse? No. At least, I don't think so. There's been a lot of variety and updates that add a lot to this game. It isn't that it's worse now, or not simplistic, it's just that there's more to do. When I asked my friends' opinions on this, I was met with both answers. Some thought Minecraft was dying, while others thought Minecraft was thriving. This game isn't as simple as what we thought it was when we first started playing it. It has multiple world communities and stretches across many different types of people. And at the end of the day, isn't that what makes a game a good game? To engage people and make memories, whether you like to watch action-packed challenges, roleplay servers, or even commentary videos like this one. Big updates, small updates, content creators old and new, the thought of so many opinions is breathtaking, and it is amazing to say the least to see what the impact of this generation has had on people. I played this game for the first time in 2013. I got it on my dad's phone and couldn't stop playing it. I showed my parents all of the creations I made and big buildings. I remember being so scared of nighttime and making big roller coasters. I remember all of those YouTubers and trying to relive and create what they taught me and showed me in their videos. Soon after that, I got an Xbox 360 and played so many hours with my friends that I don't even speak to anymore. People that I have met and gone throughout life with, and now so many of them, are gone. But this game still remains. I continue to play this game for years to come without stopping when everyone else did. But when I think back to the age of that kid who was scared to play survival and being afraid of nighttime, I didn't just realize how far this game had come but how far I had come. The accomplishments I have done and nearly everything that has happened in my life and throughout it. I played this game when I was just nine years old. I was literally in third grade. I'm now almost 20 years old and in college. And it's not just to say how far I had come, but how far you have come. How far we as the community have come. Minecraft is indeed getting more updates and changing overall, and it will never be here for everyone. But what it will do will be a big part of your life if you've been playing it for a while and will give you memories you will never forget. And to be completely honest, that is one of the best things you could ever be a part of.